Hey, good morning. This is Rob from Tesla Owners US and I wanted to try a seal for the whole car and if it makes a difference. And if it does, we will find out after the intro. Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is... Hello, then let me go to the introduction. So what we got there? So that's the company Konist, and I'm gonna put a link in there as well, uh, uh, in the description. And what it is, it didn't come with this nice uh, package because that nice package was from a mobile connector from Tesla, but I used it. And what was in there? So what in there was instructions, and there's also a movie uh, for how to, inst uh, how to install it. Uh, one of the instructions said, uh, yep, you need first to clean all of the surfaces where you want to install it. And they have a video for that as well. So basically you need a fiber towel. And then they said, um, yeah, what I would say, swap the, swap the install location with adhesive aid. That was not part of it. So they put all the seals in there, but the adhesive aid was not part of it. What I recommend there, what I use there, is I'm gonna use uh, isopropyl rubbing alcohol there. This type, you can buy it at any drugstore and then clean the surfaces for that, especially when there is grease or oil there, then it really doesn't stick. Yeah, and then you prepare the surface, take the seal off, and then you are installing it. Uh, and you're installing it more on the edges of every opening of the car, of the frunk, of the hood, of the hatch, of the four doors of the car. And then we're gonna find out if that makes a difference. And now we kinda, I'm gonna show you a little bit on one side at least, uh, how we're gonna do it. We're gonna put the camera on a stand and then you see it. Yep, that's better. That's the right position. Okay, let's start from the hood first. From the hood. Okay. Alcohol cleaning. Cleaning all around. What I'm also expecting from that is that in these areas there's always a lot of dust coming in. And to m remove or to not allow the dust to coming in to the interior room here. So let's see if that's only from here or if that's also the lower portion of it from here. So cleaning this first. All right. Okay. And alcohol should be disappearing very soon because it ends up in vapor. Okay, then I, all of the packages are here. That is the front, front trunk door seal. Actually, it's a, not a door, it's a latch more, but that's okay. Let's try that. That's a seal. We're gonna start from one corner and then see how long we last with it. Yeah. So peel that off. And then apply the seal.
Hey, good morning. How's it going? Good. What are you doing? Ah. A new seal for the, the trunk? Yes. Oh, for the front, front trunk. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Okay. So that uh, there's less noise uh -huh. and more and protection for dust. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. So I hope it works. <laughs> We're going to find out. Yeah. So you are very early. No, actually it's a little late. I didn't uh, want to get up dead. I just got off the night shift. Ah, uh, yes? Yeah. So. Okay. So let's see if that lasts here. So I pre prepped it with alcohol. Cleaned it off, and they said, "Oh, you have to use some adhesive promoter." Yeah, but yeah, if that tape doesn't last, what should I do, right? So that that should that should that should last right away, yeah, without no, it, without it, adhesive promoter. That promoter, it will. If you put that on, it it's like permanent for me. It's hard to get back off. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, then. Good advice. The, uh, uh, they'll use that like, you know, they'll have uh, body panels that they just stick on with the 3M tape. Yeah. And they'll put the promoter on to lock it down. Yeah. And with that stuff, once you put it on, you know how you just pulled it back off? You can't do that. Once you put it on, it's... It's stuck, right? Yes. Okay. So you have to be very precise when you use it. Uh, we are not so precise here. <laughs> So that's why, okay, we have to, be, we don't want, and we want to take it off if it, if it's not helpful, we might take it off again, right? Yeah, and that'd be the tough part. Yeah. Is this a new one? Or have you had this one for a while? I had this one for a year. Have you? Okay. You, yeah. you got so many of these damn things, I can't tell them apart anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All car, all my cars are out now. Yeah. Right. That's why. So, two cars on the side and two cars in the garage. So this car is on the side. Nice. You have to te you have to test drive one time. Yeah. Uh, I'd have to. Yeah. Yeah. The, ro <laughs> the roadster. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get that anymore. I know. <laughs> the roadster is nice. Yeah. This is my baby. That's my baby. All right, well, we better get going. Okay. You have a good day. Have a good day. Yeah. So that was my neighbor. Got some good advice. That's okay. So if you can see from the tape here, then it lasts until here. If I put an adhesive promoter on it and it's not helpful, I can't get it off anymore, as you heard that. So what you have to do is might do it later on or not at all. Yeah? Is that good enough? Uh, it's good enough for government work, as we say. That was a little bit too, what, too far inside. Let's get a little bit outside for that. Okay, then you need a scissor a pair of scissor. Well, we did we have that. Cut it off here with the scissor. I think I put it here in the box. Yeah.
So the point now is that if you can see, and it's probably for every one of them, we have this piece over. So for the hood, it's only around, but it's not on the lower portion of it. So not this portion of it. So that's not being sealed. Let's see what it do in the dirt. So, but this portion, the lower portion of the hood is not being sealed. Okay. Let's see what it does when we close it. Yeah. Doesn't look edgy or anything else. Let me open it again. Okay, it did it. We did it. I'm not putting adhesive promoter on it because I'm not that sure if I need, if I want that. Yeah. Okay. So the rest thing, the rest of it is just doing the doors the same way. Let me remove the, put the camera towards the doors. We are inside here and will be inside the doors from here. Uh, can you see that? Maybe I have to tilt it a little bit. Yeah. This way. Inside the doors. From here all the way around and then on over here. We are first cleaning it and then inside the front left door now. But there is one thing what's not in the installation video and what they have not described. Because they have all nicely labeled. This is front door seal left. Basically the door seal here. But what they didn't describe is there is one piece called a pillar. And a pillar has also a different format. As you can see here, it's flat, right? So whereby all of the other ones, it's a really thick rubber piece from here. Oh, wait a second. No, not all. This is a rubber piece here. And then this ends up with the edge here. So something like this as a thinner piece. Line up the edge. That's probably for the door here on the side. It's probably on this side. On this side. Here. And then this comes in here and then all the way down here. And then it said A pillar. <coughs> now what's the A pillar? A pillar is actually this is the A pillar here and the more here in the in the side. But probably it's not gonna be attached to the A pillar, but because when I got it to the size, uh, a pillar is a little bit longer, right? So it's probably the door for the inside for the A pillar on this side, whereby the same thickness of this one is on this side, like you can see here, basically on the sides of the door, and the lower portion of the door, here, this is the piece, and the lower portion of the door, this is the side of the door, and the lower portion of the door is a thicker piece. That is this one, right? So, well, that makes a difference. So, that's uh, way too easy installed the installation video, way too easy. So, you can mess up for that. But, let me start going. Cleaning first, as you have seen before, and then uh, into the doors, okay. Cleaning equipment. Nice alcohol. And then let's get going again. Here, especially the doors. Okay. 
Let me get you some more room. You can see me better. Yes. And on the side of the doors here as well. Okay, and what they're saying, you should align the edge of the door first. Which is, this is one piece comes with an angle. And you can see it from here, right? So this is the edge of the door. So align that first and then start from there. Okay. I need to tilt that a little bit for you guys that you can see it. Okay. And I hope you can see that. And then here we go. What the, for the edge of the door, I mean all the way down here, that piece. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to sit down here on the ground. And they overlapped the 3D um, tape. What I really do not like that much, to overlap the tape. <coughs> well, I'm really be really picky here, but I uh, cannot overlap the tape. Overlapped it on both sides. Okay, I'm going to snap the tape off here and now I can peel it on. This is also too much tape on it. I'm going to cut that off. Okay, now I can peel it off. Here we go. So that needs to be at the edge first. All the way down here, I guess. Because they said align this one first. And we will do. We align that lower portion of that door first. And also that lower portion is too long. Okay. We're going to cut it off. But that's too long. Get me the scissors. Get me the knife. And take it off. Yeah. Okay. Can put the tape back on. When I keep that. So then the side of the door, which we have to peel off and come all the way up to the side. Here. Okay, let's do that. All the way at the edge of the door. And it looks like it's going to be too long as well. Probably they have that for the Model 3 and the Model Y. So, and depending from the door sizes, they probably said fits for all. No, those sizes well, fits for all. One size fits all. the way up, take the scissor and cut it. Uh, 
Okay. At this part of this here. And there is some leftover. Yeah. See what we're gonna do with the leftovers. Huh. Can't eat it the next day. Okay. This side is done from the door. And now we have to get to the A pillar. I might put this one quicker. So inner edge of the door and that's a pillar which is this type of a seal and basically you have to do it the same way for all doors I mean, starting from the lower okay let's do that well, maybe I start from the upper It's a little bit too hot and I'm back in the car. Let me show you the results for that. So here, this piece of it, from here, this edge, I cut off with the scissors. Yeah, you can see it from here. Okay. And then for the rest of it, that fits. And here's a little bit too short, but you can also keep this portion of it longer. Yeah. Okay. So this door is done. And you do it the same way with other doors. From here. Here, here's this piece shawl together here on the edge all the way up okay now we have to do all of the other doors and then we come to the result there is not only an a pillar bag there is also a b pillar bag uh, where was it yeah it's here it is b pillar yeah so that means the same thing what you did for the front door you have to do for the rear door as well to put the ceiling inside for the rear door. Uh, we hope that it fits. i let you know if it doesn't fit. Okay. Okay, easy. Same procedure for the door in the back. And uh, as you know, B pillar, there is a B pillar back here as well. Put the B pillar back on here. And then there's one stream what you have to attach here, here, all the way here, and around here. So that piece needs to be longer. I hope so. I'm going to just show you the result after that. This is different. Look at this. This is different. This is a thicker material here for the sides of the rear doors. So that was not that thin. So, okay, we hope that fits. Material is different. There are rounded corners here, and that needs to fit. Let's see if this is the case. So also the material is all the way rounded up. It's like a half pipe. It's getting, it's getting warm. So it's half past eight. And if you look at this here, this is where the Mipala seal comes in. And then this is the other portion of it where the big seal is coming in for the doors. Yep, fits all nice. It's not 100% exact. Now let's go and test drive this sucker and see if there are more decibels at I what measured before with the same people. And as one person and bags, same distance, same way. Here we go again. And we want to measure that. We want to measure how many decibels we have. We're doing the same test drive, about the same temperature, the same distance, 
and then we find out. Here we go. The results are actually running here in the background and there is a slightly difference in decibel. So in average and also in the maximum. The maximum was a little bit more, even five decibels in the maximum. And in the average was only a few. It's almost not noticeable. So that's the result for the ceiling. So now about the insulation instructions. The insulation instructions, what they posted on the video, were not correct. So they only showed half of it. They didn't show the uh, frunk or trunk or the A pillar and the B pillar. So these are the full instructions on how to install it. And uh, the measurements were not exact. They were approximately, and then you had to go with a, a scissor to cut it uh, to the appropriate lens. Uh, I don't know, because if you do PPF, paint protection film, you get the measurements exactly to the point. So, and you could do that with rubber. Oh, I understand. Rubber is a little bit more stretchy and so on. That could be a difference, but usually it comes out of a mold and it should be easy to do. The other thing what it does protect is to protect the intrusion of dust and dirt in the inside of the doors and uh, in the front and then in the trunk. And that could be very helpful, especially because then you don't have to clean that so often and also the dirt will not settle there. And uh, that might be a uh, really interesting thing to do that. And that's why I probably mainly selected it. I was figuring that with the sound, it will not make much more difference, but with the dust, yes. And that gives us you a little bit advantage. So you can, uh, you can buy it there. I post the link in the info, uh, subscribe, sub thumbs up and uh, Talk to you next time.